G'day guys, M Tim Tim here. Today we're going to learn about subsurface scattering. Now, unlike my previous tutorial on how to do a hack for subsurface scattering, um, Octane has recently implemented a true unbiased brute force subsurfing scattering, subsurf scattering algorithm, and you can now do it in the diffuse and speculum materials and so we're going to load our scene up this will be the uh, Stanford model which I'll put into the video description now we're just going to light our scene up and we'll set up a scene up so give this a diffuse a white diffuse and a white Go to the light plane here, diffuse, null image, and go to textured image, put the float texture to RGB, and put that up. Go to the world settings and turn the brightness down so you should see a black image. Background, I mean. Okay, so now the subsurface scattering will only work in direct lighting on diffuse, path tracing and PMC. So we're going to go to PMC because I like it and the brightness is alright. Now first let's set our materials. So go to materials, diffuse, yeah let's do diffuse first. Now link diffuse up. Okay so to get your subsurf scattering node, you're going to right click, add medium. In medium, there's absorption and scattering. We're going to go through this scattering. Scattering is a subsurf scattering node. And connect that up to the end option, to the medium input. So, now with diffuse, the only way to get subsurface scattering to work is to put a transmission node in. This node can be an either a float texture or RGB spectrum. A float texture will multiply the color what I which this is what I found out will multiply the color to let's put this medium. So as you can see, the float texture um, multiplies the color. So in this case, it's multiplying into blue. But um, that's the float texture. And but for tutorial sake, we'll put a RGB node in. And you can also put others if you want, like images and other generators and such, but I haven't tested um, that out yet. But um, just focus on RGB spectrum. So in this case, I'm going to put it to a uh, a light red for this. No, a dark red, yeah, and a light red. Okay, so we're going. We're seeing a little bit of an effect here, not much though. So now, the scattering options. What do we have? We have absorption, scattering, scattering direction, emission scale and ray step. Absorption is the amount of light that's been absorbed into it so if we are to put it to one it would have no effect whatsoever. So if we let this render out for a sec as you can see the black lines it, it's pretty much diffuse but if I were to put that to zero it's more lighter and it's sucking all the light in. So let's just and if I will put that at the half, then it's halved. I usually leave this at zero because when I leave it at zero, I get the best effect. So, little hint for you. 
Scattering. Scattering is the amount of light. So if I were to put this to 1, same thing. If I were to put this to 0, light's being scattered. I'm going to put this to around here, around there, just to have that better effect. And also, I might change the colors, put this to a yellow, put this to a greenish, put this to a yellow, much more white, a bit more white, white alert yellow. Oh, way more better. My god, that's so much more better. Okay, so now. Right, absorption scattering done. Now the scattering direction is scattering to zero to one is the is the light scattering inwards of the model, if I remember correctly. And zero to negative one is the amount of light that's been refracted off of it. So if if we were to do comparisons, you can see some effect happening, but not as much. If I were to put it here, it's a whole lot more stronger. So I want it to be in the middle around here, just to not have it so burned out. Oh, it looks so good. I don't really use the diffuse. I usually I usually use the specular, but my god, it looks so good. Wow. Okay, so. So that's the scattering. Now the emissions I'll go on in a different tutorial, but emissions is pretty much making fog like stuff or flames if you would, but we'll go through that another time. Scaling is scattering I uh, scale is the factor of the absorption and scattering. So obviously, if I were to put it down there to put it all the way up obviously both will be increased. If I were to put it down, it will act like a normal diffuse. So putting around half would be a good idea. Uh, the ray step is pretty much how um, how bounces work with the diffuse, glossy and specular. Um, if uh, Obviously if I put the ray step to about a hundred it will obviously work much more better more bounces if I put it to zero then not so many you can see some effect which is surprising it actually doesn't work with me but if I would put it to about a thousand it's much more brighter very fun and looks really good So, uh, that's the, the diffuse node, which only took 8 minutes. Now, time for the specular. We're going to have a lot of fun with the specular. So, delete this, delete this, delete this. Right click, specular, add your specular material. Okay. So, first we're going to put the reflection to RGB spectrum, put that up to white, and change it to a nice bright colour. Pale yellow, no, green, sorry. And we are going to put the absorption to scattering. I'm doing this in the, in the node inspector, sorry. And then we are going to absorption is the same. If you were to put the absorption all the way up to 1, obviously all light will not get sucked into it, thus only the reflections are highlighted. So put that down to 0. Scattering is the same function. If I will put it down to here, to 1, it pretty much blocks out light. So let's put that to a 0 0.1. Some scattering happening. Uh, let's put the, I want it to go inwards, and the scale can be put down a bit, 
Oh, not too much. And I'm going to put the roughness a bit up. Change the color. And let's just get a close up. Also, let's also change our transmission to the same color. And we can put this down. And we can get a side shot. Okay, and let's just set this up. Make the light source a lot more brighter. No, oh, wait, we leave it like that. Changing the transmission was just like testing, you don't have to do that. Just to get a lot more colour into it. So, um, that's pretty much the tutorials you have to go through. All you have to know is learn about um, diffuse. That will probably uh, make you scratch a lot of heads if you don't know how to use the RGB and only use a float texture with the light, not with the light changing color. But uh, just experiment with all the absorption, scattering, and scale. Remember that the scale influences both the absorption and scattering. And um, uh, in the next tutorial, I'll go through the emission side of it.